Well, you can tell what kind of night that was. Lots of washing down later on. Thick, thick, thick Tamar mud. Well, I can confirm that you need a really heavy anchor here and one which digs into mud. It dragged and I had to get up at two in the morning and pace it all the way out. As you can see, we are just coming up now on the water beginning to lift the boat. So our one's just beginning to rise, I hope. And that's where we came to beach last night. And I'm hoping in the next hour or so we'll be able to float off. these little zephyrs, sort of gusts of wind, but I don't think it's much. It's going to be a combination of sailing and motor sailing for a bit, I think. Well, I've just picked up a boy just off uh, Black Rock Point and at the entrance to Treadown Lake. And I'm gonna do a bit of housekeeping and wash the decks and stow the anchor properly and let the wind build slightly. And then when we've done that, um, hopefully um, we'll be able to sail the rest of the way down the liner and down the Tamar. A very grubby foredeck. comes in useful. I must get around to sorting these green reefing lines as well. They're becoming a bit loose and tangly. during most of the way back down to the cat down today. Just drifting here on the outgoing tide. There's the odd little zephyr of wind, but it isn't sufficient to get us very far. Picked up a 
mooring for a few minutes just to sort myself out. I'm a bit warm. Another police patrol vessels coming up river. They do occasionally. Lots of bass coming to the surface. Feeding frenzy. All the white baits being chased to the surface by mackerel and bass. Wind's picked up. Ooh. Time to go sailing. This is the fastest I've ever come up the sound. Um, it's an easterly breeze and we're clipping along just on the edge of the no-go uh, no go zone. A um, bit of weather helm on the tiller. Might be prudent to um, ease the mizzen in a minute. But at the moment, nice steady breezes, eight knots and a really fast time. Just under 15 minutes. The wind's just eased a bit as we're coming into the end now. Let's see if we can go around the breakwater fort. There's the tide spring. Royal Fleet Auxiliary Refueler and stores ship.
You know what? This has been a really good little dinghy cruising micro adventure. I've really enjoyed it. I've learned loads as always, not least of which is to carry a far heavier anchor when overnight cruising. Such a silly mistake to make, wasn't it, leaving that behind? Hey ho, all's well that ends well, I suppose. Fair winds to you all. Thanks for joining us on this cruise. In our next video, we'll take a closer inspection tour of Arwen's rigging, hull and cockpit interior. After 14 years and thousands of miles of sailing with only a minor cosmetic touch-up maintenance work, um, what state is she in and what do I need to do this winter? Everything revealed, lots up for discussion. Fair winds to you all. Happy sailing, everyone.